Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhad in which we would look at a notes receivable that is discounted at the bank. This questions give many students an issue because you need to understand how discounting work and if you don't have a good understanding of the time value of money or of or of basic discounting, you will find this problem quite challenging. On forhatlectures.com, this is what I do. I help students understand the concept. I teach you the concept on forhatlectures.com. In contrast to a CPA prep companies like Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleim, they do review them with you. They do a great job, but they don't teach you the material. If you have the need of understanding the basic, and I believe that's the key to success on the CPA exam, because most CPA questions, if not all CPA questions, you can eliminate two choices. You can go down to 50-50 if you have a basic understanding of the material, and I'm going to show you in this session how you can eliminate two choices immediately. That's what I always do when I go over a question. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first question. Skylar W. received a from a customer one year 400,000 note bearing an annual interest rate of 10%. So Skylar either lend money to a customer or they made a sale. And now they receive the note. It's a one year note. After holding the note for six months, Skylar discounted the note at the First Republic Bank at an effective interest rate of 13%. The question is how much cash did Skylar receive from the bank? Now I could ask you five different questions about this information. Let's visualize what just happened. Here's what happened. Skylar made a sale. Let's assume it's a sale. So Skylar debited notes. I'm going to go through the whole thing in detail. Notes receivable, 100,000. And credited sales. And I'm going to ignore cost of goods sold, 100,000. So here they received the notes receivable. And this notes receivable will pay 10%. So if a Skylar waits one full year, Skylar would receive the 400 plus 10, uh, sorry, this is 400, not 100, 400. So if, if Skylar waits one full year, she would receive 440,000 from the bank. Simply put, the 400,000 notes receivable would earn 1.1, which will be equal to 400,000. Why 1.1? It's one for the original principal plus 10% for the interest, you would receive 410,000. Obviously, Skylar could not wait. Skylar wanted to get the money sooner. So six months later, someplace here, Skylar went to the bank, they visited the bank, and they told the bank, look, we need money, uh, we have this note, you can collect the note, but we need some money now. The bank wants to earn interest as well. The bank wants to earn 13% interest on whatever money they give you. Good. Now, let's look at the answer choices and try to eliminate two choices immediately. If you understand the question, if you understand basically what I just told you, if you understand what you are giving, immediately you could eliminate A. Why could you eliminate A? Because if Skylar waited one full year, Skylar will get 440000 Well, Skylar did not wait for one full year. Therefore, A is not an option. Also, we could eliminate C. Why can we eliminate C? Well, think about it. You have a note that's worth 400000 and you held this note for six months. Well, guess what? This note, it's going to earn some interest. So when you sell it, you're not going to sell it for less than 400000 you held it for you held it for six months, and the face value of it is four hundred thousand. It's gonna earn more. It's gonna earn forty thousand dollar more. So you're not gonna sell it less than four hundred thousand. Logically, you could eliminate C. So notice what happened. Now you're down to fifty fifty. If you're under time pressure, go ahead and select one of these two answers. At least you have a fifty percent chance getting the question right. But you don't do that. We're gonna work this problem. Now, you went to the bank. The bank said, "Okay, no problem. I'll give you money." However, I want to earn, the bank wants to earn 13% on whatever money they gave you. Now, put yourself in the shoes of the bank. The bank is saying, six months from this date, the bank would receive 440000 assuming the customer honors the note, which we're going to assume that's the case. Honors means the customer does pay the note plus the interest. So the bank would say, okay, let me think about it. If it's 440000 I want to earn... 13% on this note. So let's perform the computation and see how much interest would I need to earn to earn 14%. So I'm going to 
I'm going to get 440,000 times 1.3. 440,000 times 1.3, that's 57,200. Now be careful, be careful here is this is not for a full year. This is for a half a year. I multiply this by 0.5 or one half. Therefore, the bank wants to earn 28,000, 28,600. So be careful when I get the first answer, which was double this, double this well the bank can't earn that much if the bank will wants to earn you know the full 13000 for uh, for the full year then yes the number will be less than 400000 then c will be an option but you have to be careful they're going to be only waiting they're on, the bank is only waiting for 6 months let me make it in a different color the bank is only waiting for this much so the bank only waiting for 6 months that's why you have to multiply the answer 440 times 13% times one half or 0.5. The bank's going to say, okay, I'm going to give you, instead of giving you uh, 440,000, I'm going to give you, let me pull back the calculator, 440,000 minus 28,600. So I will give you 411,400. And this is what the bank would give you, D which is what the bank is saying. I want to earn 28,600 for this period, for this period, for this period here, I want to earn 28,600. Oh, okay, let's confer, let's, let's kind of do a little bit more of computation. I can ask you too, how much did Skyler earn in interest? Well, how much did Skyler earn in interest? Well, if Skyler is going to be receiving 411,400. So Skyler earned 11,400 in interest. I could also ask you, what is the rate of the return of Skyler's on this note? What's the rate of return? Well, Skyler earned 11,400 on a note that's worth 440,000. That's the face value of the note. This is how much you would receive later. Let's do this. So 11,400 divided by 440,000. That's equal, whoops, let's redo this again, not multiply. 11,400 divided by 440,000. That's 2.5%. That's for, that's for, that's for, uh, for a full year. Remember, 2.5%. This is if you waited the full year, 2.5% times 2. Skyler earned 5.18. So Skyler earned 5.18%. Let's see, can we find out how much did the bank earn? Let's do, let's confirm the bank as well. The bank earned 28,000, 28,600, 28,600 divided by 440,000. That's 6.5, but that's only for six months to annualize the rate multiply by two and the bank earned 13 percent that's exactly what the bank wanted to earn this is i'm just confirming the numbers so i could ask you how much did skylar earned 5.18 on this note although initially if they if they held if they held the note until it matured they would have had they would have earned 10%. Well, they could not because they needed the money. Therefore, because they needed the money, the bank said, okay, I will buy the note, but I will discount it based on 13%. So simply put, the 440,000 that was earned in total from this note, okay, let's, let, let me break it for you. 11,400 went to Skyler and 28,600 went to the bank, which made it a 13% return which made it 5.18%. The reason I did this, because they could ask you the question in too many different ways. They could also ask you, how much did Skylar receive in actual interest? Well, the answer is 11,400. So that's how much interest did Skylar receive. I could also ask you to do the journal entries about this. I'm not, I'm not gonna go into this, but the point is, you know, you, I could ask so many different, different questions. So the key is to remember, you have to understand everything. If you don't understand the material, they can throw you off. So that's why forhatlectures.com will help you learn the material. Your CPA exam is a lifetime investment. Don't shortchange yourself. 
you are investing for your next 20 to 30 years of your career. And by the way, if you haven't connected with me on LinkedIn, please do so. Subscribe to my YouTube at least, where I have a lot of lectures that could help you, that could help you understand the material. But farhatlectures.com is the place to go to really pass, to add 10 to 15 points to your CPA exam. Put it behind you. Focus on your career. Good luck and study hard.